crunch. Desperately want that first goal. They want to set the tone here on home ice, and it might come from John Mitchell as he shoots the defense of the puck, and he scores! John Mitchell with the first goal of the game, and the Crunch have a one to nothing lead. What a beautiful play by John Mitchell as he was able to strip a Sharks defenseman at the point, moved in all alone on net, and beat Sexsmith just beneath. The left pad and for Mitchell. Have a one nothing lead here on home ice and Kyle Palmieri carries it in the zone, works it around more. Goes to the back and he scores! Kyle Palmieri! What a move by Palmieri and just like that, the Crunch are up two to nothing. What a fancy move by Kyle Palmieri, wow. And it's sent behind Tarkey. Back up to Irwin at the point. He fires a shot that's blocked away by Gennett, but not out in front of the net, and they score. Tim Kennedy gets the goal, the power play score. From the post as the Sharks are buzzing. Oh, Hanley puts a shot on net that finds its way in and a goal. So Brian O'Hanley ties the game up, and just like that, Taylor Doherty going down, and we're going to get a penalty. And we're also going to get a fight here as Troy Bodie drops the gloves. He's facing off against Nathan Moon as both players have each other tied up and now it's Bodie throwing rights. The referee's hopping in almost immediately to break up the fight as Bodie had Moon down and he was pounding away at that shark as Schofield will go to the box for a tripping call but right afterwards Bodie and Moon were able to tangle it up. Up as Jay as Jacques. Pushes at Mike Moore, and now both guys are going to drop the gloves and we'll help fight. Jay has Jacques immediately gained the helmet off of Moore. As Moore just holding on for dear life, and Jacques drives him to the ice. Take over. And Bodie's going to go for another fight. He's going to go with Taylor Darty as both men drop the sticks, drop the gloves, and Bodie sends a quick left, another quick left as both men swinging wildly out there. As Doherty connects with a right, another right. Bodie going for the uppercut. Can't land one though. As Doherty wrestled down to the ice and then it's Troy Bodie with a couple of jabs on the Sharks defenseman. Third fight of the night and we haven't seen the crunch drop the gloves this often in a game, but the Sharks who aren't afraid to drop the gloves and get into some fisticuffs are more than willing to engage in Troy Bodie goes off the side of the cage, Gordon in front! And almost was able to put it home. There's another shot, just goes wide. Gordon wraps it around, he scores! Andrew Gordon puts the crunch ahead, three to two. And a guy who was frustrated when he first came down, couldn't find the back of the net, now has three goals in his last two games. And Patrick Maroon holds it in the zone. And he finds Kyle Palmieri, who cuts to the front of the net. Palmieri with a shot that gets in goal! Kyle Palmieri with his second of the game, and just like that, it's a 4-2 crunch lead. Palmieri went down to one knee to give a dramatic fist pump as he now stands alone, first in the league with 30 goals on the season. Six seconds left as Jack Combs carries it into the zone. That pass sent to John McCarthy, a pass out in front, and there's the final horn. So it's mission accomplished for the Syracuse Crunch. They break a home losing skid, and they bounce back after a loss to Norfolk as they defeat the Worcester Sharks 4-2.